morning, Medway. It's Friday, May 16th, and I'm your host, Taylor. And I'm your co-host, Shada, and this is Medway Morning, live from MTV Studios. Congrats to the girls' rugby team who defeated WCI yesterday 38-0. Ronnie the Rock Harrigan had 17 points. And Kaylin the kicker, Wombolt, had 11. And Courtney the Warrior Welch had 10. The girls continue to play, and when they head to SCCI on Tuesday to play their last league game. On Wednesday and Thursday this week, 500 archers competed in eight categories at OFSA in Toronto. Three Medway archers competed very well in this very large field. Rachel Getliff placed very respectful 17th in her fields of 42 in her category. Rachel Vanderloop had an impressive fourth place finish in a category with 118 archers. And Jordan Wilson won OFSA gold in, his, in the category with 62 archers and only six points separating first and sixth place. Well done, Medway archers. There will be an important meeting in room 127 for all members of the junior badminton team at the beginning of lunch today. It is important that all members plan to attend our potluck lunch next Wednesday. Attention staff and students who park in the student parking area. On Tuesday, the parking will be limited as the east end of the parking lot will be taped off for an elementary school track and field meet. Attention the diary of Anne Frank actors and crew. If you want to order photos, please get your forms of money to Ms. Martin ASAP. The order is going in next Wednesday. Attention all graduating students, it's time to fill out your extracurricular M's. The forms are found in guidance and need to be returned to Ms. Radfl Radforth by May 30th. The Medway girls soccer team is having a great start to the season. Lindsay went to find out more. So how's the season going so far? Our season's going very well. So far we're undefeated in the regular season and our team's playing really well. Who's your biggest competition? No one, because we're all stars. <laughs> How often do you practice? We usually practice uh, once to twice a week, and then we usually have uh, one or two games per week. Is this the best year so far? Yeah, it is, because we actually win games. <laughs> Thanks, Lindsay. The libraries close as of Friday, June 6th. At that time, all items must be returned to the library, and, new, and no new items will be signed out. If you need your books because your project deadline is after June 6, please see Ms. Skikos in the library. You can also return library items borrowed from any other Thames Valley school. Ms. Skikos, Ms. Skikos will clear your record and send the books back to the schools that they belong to on your behalf. Throughout the semester, we have been collecting used book for a used book swap, and many students have been taking advantage. Thank you to everyone who made the used book swap such a great success. All remaining books will now be donated to Books With No Bounds, which is an organization that collects books and sends them to remote Canadian communities. If you have books to donate, bring them to the library ASAP. Congratulations to everyone who participated in the Scholastic Challenge. We have, May, we have until May 31st, so keep reading. Once you have finished reading your book or magazine, don't forget to color in a spot on the library poster. For every 100 books or magazines read, Scholastic will donate 100 new books to needy kids across Canada. See the library webpage for more information. So far, we have helped to contribute over 250 books. Keep reading, Cowboys. Last night, Medway Choir put a very special performance. I we went to go see. Intergenerational Choir. What is the Intergenerational Choir? The Intergenerational Choir is a choir made up of students here at Medway, uh, Alzheimer's clients from the Alzheimer's Society in London, and then also sisters from the Sisters of St. Joseph's in London. What started this idea? Originally, there was an idea started by one of the Alzheimer's uh, volunteers that works at the Alzheimer's Society in London, and she had the idea of music being beneficial and singing being beneficial to the Alzheimer's patients. It evolved into, let's include students in this, uh, because there's been lots of studies, or there's been some studies done about mixing the generations and having contact with youth and uh, seniors uh, having difficulty with dementia. And uh, so that's how it evolved, and we uh, formed the partnership. How long has this choir been going on? The choir has been running for two years. Uh, we have a session in the fall which we have a concert at the end close to Christmas and then we do another session in the spring which we just had our final concert for last night. How many people are in the choir? 
approximately 75 to 80 people are in the choir, uh, 25 students, 25 Alzheimer's clients and their caregivers, and then 25 sisters, give or take a few. Back to you, Thanks, Abby. Hey, Jada, nice shirt. Thanks, I like yours too. And thanks to everyone who brought it, who bought a T-shirt and came out on tie dye, and came out in tie dye on Wednesday, and who wore that shirt today? Today, you are speaking up for acceptance and acknowledging that all of us deserve to feel included and safe at our school. A special thanks goes out to all the amazing students who helped with this campaign and worked so hard to make make it a success. If anyone is interested in being part of the Youth for Acceptance, stay tuned for a meeting de for meeting de uh, date in the next couple weeks. There are still a few shirts for sale, both white and tie-dyed shirts. See Ms. McDonald and Guidance to purchase yours. Attention grade 12 students. There will be an OSAP presentation and Guidance next Wednesday at 9.30. Sign up in Guidance today. The Medway boys soccer team played a tough game last night against Central. Medway was behind in the first half but made a strong effort in the second, scoring three goals. Unfortunately, it wasn't enough and Medway lost 7-4. Medway score scorers were Mike Guinness, Thompson Womble, and two for Cam Sifton. Good luck, boys, on your first playoff game next Wednesday. Would you like to go to England and France next year on a school trip? Here's some more information. Hey, Medway, are you interested in fashion or culinary arts? Next March, a trip is being planned to take a 10-day tour of London, England, and Paris, France. Students will explore the wonders of French cuisine and food from two different cultures as well as have the opportunity to view the fashion scene. The trip is set to run from Thursday, March 12th to Saturday, March 21st. If you're interested in this exciting opportunity, sign up in Guidance and meet with Mrs. F. in room 238, the beginning of senior lunch, on Tuesday. Juniors are welcome to attend the meeting, but will require an admit slip from Mrs. F. Students with an IEP, it's time to come to room 143 to sign up for your exams. There will be a Junior and Senior Music Council meeting today during both lunches. All senior choir members are asked to return their folders and all music to the music office. At this time of the year, please remember to follow the dress code. Clothing needs to be appropriate length. Un undergarments are not to be shown. Please read the Medway Code of Conduct in your planner for more details. There will be an informational meeting next Friday at the start of senior lunch in room 248 to hear details about DECA, the business club. If you want further details before the meeting, please see Mr. Hiscox or Ms. Smith. Medway will be hosting his first battle of the band, com band competition. Let's see how one of the students is preparing. Do you all look like this wimp before battle of the bands? Didn't think so! My time is now, You can't see me, my time is now. How about this stunt? Getting the ladies, cause you did battle of bands. That's what you do, huh? They joined battle of bands. Uh, yes. So are you going to join Battle of Bands? Oh, totally, yeah. <laughs> I'm Jack from MTV with Austin Brookshaw, organizer of Battle of Bands. When is Battle of the Bands? Uh, next Thursday, May 22nd. What are the prizes for Battle of the Bands? Uh, winners will receive gift cards from Long and McQuaid's Music Store, as well as hopefully get to perform at the end of the year barbecue. Back to you, MTV. Happy birthday to our favorite. Have a great day, Nora. Love your friends. <laughs> the girls' soccer team traveled to Woodstock to play in the third annual Matt Lewin tournament. The girls faced many trials yesterday. The rain was constant and the fields deteriorated into vats of mud. The girls won their first game against the tournament in hosts. The score was 2-0. to zero. Slim Brown's play in net was stellar. A nifty goal to bring us to a tie, by, but Saunders scored in the last minute to win the game. Great effort, ladies. Practice on Tuesday. Rest up over the weekend. Well, that's all your notices for today, Medway. Have a great long weekend, and thanks for tuning in to Medway TV.